quickly look at the next type of hematuria. Uh, we've looked at the gross type of hematuria, also known as what the macroscopic type of hematuria. And this video will actually be looking at the microscopic type of hematuria. And the macroscopic one, we said that there's blood in urine and it's obvious. You can clearly see that there's blood in urine, okay? But this microscopic type of hematuria is basically when you suspect the urine color is somehow, you suspect that there's another thing in the urine that is not supposed to be there. Uh, so you take on a test, all right? Use a microscope to actually observe the urine, okay? And that's only when you get to see the red blood cells in urine, okay? So let's kick it off. Uh, we'll be talking about the possible causes from the definition two. Talking about how we can be able to detect microscopic what um, type of um, how we can be able to suspect, okay, that microscopic um, hematuria actually exists. Then we'll be talking about the possible management of this disease condition. So the microscopic hematuria is actually what the presence of blood in urine that can only be seen with a microscope okay so here are some key points for you to note all right we'll go through the causes right now um we said that the possible causes of this disease condition could be that there's urinary tract infections but it is still microscopic because it could be that the urinary tract infection is just starting okay it has not caused too much damage like that all right it could be kidney disease or damage like what glomerulonephritis it could be kidney stones it could be cancer of the bladder cancer of the kidney or cancer of the prostate it could be inflammation or infection of the prostate like what prostatitis right it could be benign prostatic hyperplasia all right it could be trauma to the kidneys or bladder it could be it could be that you are undergoing some medications right so you're having like the side effect okay that's uh, things like what anticoagulants or aspirin. It could be that you did some crazy vigorous exercise, so right, just showing up. Okay. So gross hematuria means what blood, blood can be seen in urine. Microscopic hematuria means what blood can only be seen with the aid of a microscope. Okay. Then evaluation: How can you be able to suspect? This condition actually exists. Okay, so you can suspect this microscopic uh, hematuria on urinalysis. Okay, you can also do a urine culture to rule out infections. You can do imaging studies like ultrasound, CT scan, just to visualize the urinary tract for yourself. You could do cytoscopy to examine the bladder and urethra. All right, you could do renal function tests like what creatinine and blood. Uh, urea nitrogen okay to access kidney function to see if this hematuria is actually affecting the kidneys and all the stuff right you could also do some additional tests like kidney biopsy that's if necessary okay the management what are the possible management for this disease condition basically most of the times it comes with an underlying cause there's another disease condition that is causing this so you try to tackle it right so that's why we say you treat underlying cause. Like you can administer antibiotics if you are suspecting urinary tract infections, right? You could do a motor kidney function and urine output, okay? Tests. You could do a lifestyle modi modification. Like the person should increase fluid intake and the person should avoid strenuous exercise, okay? You could just walk around, you mustn't do all those strenuous exercises. Then you can refer the person to a specialist that's somebody who did like urology or a nephrologist okay that's if necessary all right just for just that uh, so that they can receive what specialized care then since this type of hematuria is just microscopic you won't like it to graduate into being macroscopic okay so you actually want to do regular follow-ups, okay? So you do regular follow-ups for this type of patient. That's it for microscopic hematuria.